young fighter makes the walk here tonight, he's probably thinking, I'm gonna get my opponent to the mat, and you know what? He's not gonna be able to get up. And I think for a lot of fighters who have dealt with the top game of this young man, they just can't get out from underneath him. He controls you, keeps his weight on you, and, and he just uses his hips beautifully to maintain a dominant position. Certainly, he has sapped willpower and gas tanks throughout his MMA career, and at times, guys, have to give up. This guy has tremendous ground technique and his ability to pass guard and get to a dominant position is elite. Well, he is one of the more polarizing athletes on this roster. The former UFC light heavyweight champion, Tito Ortiz, draws rave reviews for his coachability, physically and mentally tough, and he puts a pace on fighters that few guys are able to match. So let's see what Tito Ortiz has left as he gets ready for another showcase fight here tonight. Tito Ortiz, of course, had a long run as the light heavyweight champion, and he's known for his great wrestling, conditioning, and grounded pound. He's also got a decent jab and is remarkably durable. And now our tail of the tape for this light heavyweight fight. More than a decade separates these and reach as well. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 188 pounds. Fighting out of Kanagawa, Japan, Grandmaster. And now we're producing the opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 16 wins, 5 losses. He stands 6 feet 2 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Huntington Beach, California, USA, Tito Ortiz! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. You ready? All right, good to have you with us as we get underway here at the Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. Blocks the shot. Again, Joe circling to his right here, trying to avoid those big shots coming back. Ball left hook to the head, it's blocked. Ortiz gets caught with that punch. Moves to north-south. He's looking for the inverted triangle. It looks like this submission's locked. Let's secure that ankle underneath his knee. He's got it. He got it, he got it. Nicely done. Great job in establishing that submission. Yeah, so a quick night at the office for him here tonight. He told us he wanted to be efficient. He didn't want to waste a lot of time. He felt his opponent knew the takedown attempts would be coming, and he got the fight to the ground relatively easily, and his submission skills then took over. Big, big result for him early in round one tonight. And one last time, super tight choke, and he's out. And here we see it again. Beautiful submission victory. So there he is, your winner by submission. That is a finish they will likely be talking about for some time. Big win, major statement made to the rest of this division. Bruce Buffer has Ladies the official the decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine's called a stop for this contest at one minute, 45 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by submission due to a reverse triangle. Grandmaster! Well, what a submission win for this oncoming force here tonight. I think he's going to be a problem for a lot of fighters in this division. Tonight, though, is all about the celebration after getting...